I think that everyone should, everyone in New York, if you live in New York, you should definitely visit this site. I think it's great symbolism um, using a mound because I think there's a lot of cultures that use mounds in, in their internment and it's a great way to mark a uh, sacred area. Ranger Doug asked me how I would feel if, if one of my ancestors was dug up and, you know, mistreated and I, and I felt that, that I would be hurt by that and that it's great that respect is actually being given to the people who are buried here. Yet in 1991, while erecting the Ted White Federal Building, them bones started talking. I feel like I'm standing on hollow ground. This is a tremendous importance not only to, to New York history, but to um, the history of the United States in general. How, you know, this is the, the largest city in the United States, and it was built on the backs of the people who were buried here. The gangs of New York was one they talked about, you know, but only little snippets. Really, uh, the real history, I feel, is not really widely told, and I mean, other than what I've just learned today. The, the reinterment grove is, is not complex. It's, it's simple. It's just mounds and trees, but it conveys a powerful message. This idea of nature and nature amidst the city today, that it's able to provide some of the natural context that surrounded the burial ground when it was actually in use. I mean, the mounds, is, I mean, just kind of the symbolism of the mounds kind of stands out to me. I know in other cultures they use mounds to symbolize like the pregnant, the, the earth is pregnant, mother earth is pregnant, so returning to, you know, the, to the earth. So this is the history of enslavement in New York City. Sankofa means uh, looking back at, at your ancestors, learning from the past. The most important lessons that we can learn in life are, are from people that came before us.